This surah contains a quite detailed narrative about the life story of Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam. We have read it in detail in surah Taha. Five sections of that surah. They were, you know, occupied by the story of Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam. Here again, surah Al-Qasas. It is given some, some additional details. Some of the things are repeated, and there are other things which are additional. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Taasim Neem. Tilka ayat ul kitab al mubin These are the ayat of the clear book, manifest book. Natlu alayka min nabai Musa wa Fir'aun. We are going to re- recite to you. The story of Musa and Fir'aun. Bil haq, with truth. Everything that we say is 100% correct. Liqawmi yuminun. For those people who believe. Inna Fir'aun ala fil ard. Verily, Fir'aun, Fir'aun had exalted himself in the land. Wajala ahlaha shi'an. And he had made the people, divided them. Into sects and groups. Yes, Tadhifu Taifatam in whom he was slaughtering their sons. Yes, Tadhifu, abasing and oppressing some of them. Yuzabihu Abnahum, slaughtering their sons. Yes, Tahi Nisahum, and keeping alive their women. In the Hukana Minal Mufsidin. No doubt, surely he was of the corruptors and the mischief mongers. You know, this was the command of Fir'aun at that time that every male child born to any Israeli woman must be killed. Now, what was the reason? There's no mention in Quran. There's no mention in Torah even. But there are some stories in Talmud. And you know, our Mufassirin have also borrowed, borrowed them from Talmud. That is, that the Fir'aun, he saw a dream. That a child is born to an Israeli woman who will overthrow his kingdom. So, on the basis of this vision and dream, he gave the order. Whosoever, whosoever Israeli woman bears a male child, kill him. But the second reason can be, as I told you, it was a nationalist strife. Because Bani Israel were very prosperous. When they had entered Egypt, the kings at that time, the king was not a pharaoh. He was not a son of the soil. He was not an Egyptian. They were from the Amalekah. And actually they were Arabs. So they were, so to say, foreign occupiers of Egypt and they needed some section of the population to support them against any local nationalistic uprising. So he gave the best land to Bani Israel, Joshua, you know, the near the delta of Nile, the best lands he gave to the Israelites, you go settle here and they were very prosperous and they multiplied in great number. But after some years, then there was a revolt, local revolt and uprising. The local peoples drove out the Amalekah. They had to run away. And now this was a nationalist resurgence in Egypt. Again, now the dynasty of Farahina started. And now these people who were pampered during the former king and in their regimes, now they were persecuted. They were thought to be the agents of those enemies of Egypt. But because they were increasing in number, they were fearing that they might sometime challenge us in our land. And we have read, you know, that Firon said, these are two magicians who want to drive you out of your land. So he was saying it, that actually it's a political, you know, scheme. And they want to deprive us of this land of ours, Egypt, and to occupy it. 
and there are a great number of israelis are there and now he has come equipped with these you know magic things so that is the fear to so maybe any one of these two things can be true in the firaun ala fil ard verily firaun exalted himself in the earth in the land wajala ala shi'an and made its people divided them into sects and groups yastad'ifu ta'ifatan minhum one of the groups he was oppressing oppressing yuzabbihu abna to the extent that he was killing their sons male sons by yastahi nisahu and keeping alive their female daughters their female progeny innahu kana min almufsidin definitely he was from among, among the corruptors and the mischief mongers wa nuridu an namunna ala allazina istudafu and we had decided that we should have we wish, we shall bestow our favor on those who were oppressed in the land so now we wanted to come to help of bani israel to relieve them to get the release for them nuridu an namunna ala allazina istudafu fil ard wa naj'alahum aimmatan and we make them the leaders wa naj'alahum al warisin and make them the inheritors of the rule in this land wa numakkina lahum fil ard and yet and that we should establish them in the land wa nuriya fir'aun wa haman wa junudahuma and show to fir'aun and haman and their their hosts and their armies min hum ma kanu yahzurun what they were dreading or fearing i have given you the detail of this dreading and fearing of what either the domination of bani israel in egypt due to their numbers and now moses by their side musa alayhi salatu wasalam also with them or as the stories are and the traditions are that he had seen a dream that a child is born to bani israel who who overthrows his kingdom but we had we decided to show him that this is going to happen you might have killed thousands of the sons of bani israel but still you know one was saved who had to overthrow your kingdom he was saved because allah taala does what he wants wa ahina ila umm musa now this we have read in surah taha and we sent the revelation to the mother of musa alayhi salatu wasalam an arzihi go on suckling him faiza khifte alayhi then when you have a fear that he might be found out when the people you know searching the homes are coming falqihi fil yam then you cast him into the nile into the river wala takhafi don't fear wala tahzani and don't grieve inna raduhu ilaik we promise we shall return him to you wa ja'iluhu min al-mursalin and we will make him from among our messengers now this is the wahi of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coming to a woman but she was not prophet allah can send wahi and ilham to other people also even we have read aha rabbuka ila nahl allah send the wahi to the hari bee whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts in some animals as instincts it's also a wahi to them from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but this you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this message to the mother of musa faltaqatahu alu fir'aun so the people of fir'aun picked him up from the river la yakuna lahum aduwan wa hazana so that he might become for them enemy and the reason of grief inna fir'aun wa haman wa junudahuma verily not only fir'aun and haman but all of their armies kanu khatiin they committed a mistake they were evil doers and now they committed this mistake because they did not kill musa why didn't they kill wa qalat imra'at fir'aun Now the wife of Pharaoh came in the way. They wanted; they had to recognize that this is a, an Israeli child. But now, wife who was beloved of Pharaoh, 
شی کیم ان بٹوین قال تم رات و فرعون قرت اللی ولی قرت عین اللی ولک او فرعون دس چائلڈ ول بی اے کولنس ٹو مائی آئیز اینڈ یورس اینڈ وی ہیو ریڈ آلریڈی القیت علیہ کا محبت منی اللہ ہیز پٹ آن موسا علیہ السلام یو نو اے ریفلیکشن آف ہز اون لو ہو سو آور صاحب اسٹارٹیڈ لونگ ہم سو بوتھ دیز تھنگس فرسٹلی دی اپیئرنس آف موسا علیہ السلاۃ والسلام اے ویری بیوٹیفل ویری لولی چائلڈ سیکنڈلی دس وائف تورا سیز شی واز ڈاٹر آف فرعون بٹ قرآن سیز نو شی واز دی وائف آف فرعون اینڈ شی ہیز بین مینشن ان سورت التحریم ایز ون آف دی موسٹ ایگزمپلری ویمن بیکاز آل دو شی واز لونگ ان دی ہاؤس آف فرعون اینڈ اینمی آف اللہ بٹ شی واز ہر سیلف اے سینٹ اے ولی اللہ ولی اللہ اینڈ شی واز فرام امنگ دی اسرائی لائٹس she was an israeli woman just as you know kings they marry some woman might have been very beautiful and he liked her and brought her in the palace qalat imrat firaun qurat ayn li walak la taqtulu don't kill him asa yanfa'na maybe he proves to be beneficial for us aw natakhizahu walada or we shall adopt him as a son because they had no son till that time after some time there was a son and that was the firaun when hazrat musa comes back from madian now he was this he was the firaun but till this time the father was in charge aw natakhahu waladan wa hum la yashurun and they didn't know what they are doing they were actually their enemy musa who will overthrow their kingdom but they are you decided not to kill him wa asbaha fuad umm musa fariga and in the meantime the heart of musa's mother became empty you know her courage gave way the love and affection for the son she couldn't bear any more in qadat al tumdi bihi she was very close to disclose everything she was close that she would have exploded that this this was my son and i have done this and i have you know cast him into the nile and so go and see and please please take it back laula an rabatna ala qalbiha had we not strengthened his her heart we strengthened her heart so that she could bear le takuna min al mu'minin so that he, she becomes from among the believers وقالت لاخته and she said to his sister sister of Musa alayhi salatu wassalam usih go and follow you know that basket or whatever you may call which was carrying Musa alayhi salam the Nile go go along with the coast of the river see usih go along with it fa basarat bihi an junubin So she kept an eye on that basket or whatever it was, a box. And Jonubin, from afar, a distance. Wahumla yashurun, they didn't know that you know someone is watching this child. Waharramna alayhi al-maradi'a bin qabl. And we had prevented him beforehand to drink the, the milk of all the foster mothers. So many women were called, said that she should suckle him, but he didn't accept. He won't touch the memory gland of the mother, of that foster mother. So all were tried, but Moses والسلام, accepted none. So now there was an emergency. How will he live? He is not ready to accept the milk of any woman. So then she said, the sister, وَحَرَّمْنَا عَلَيْهِ الْمَرَاضِيَ مِنْ قَبْلِ فَقَالَتْ هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمْ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ بَيْتٍ يَكْفُلُونَهُ Should I guide you to a family who will be able to take care of him? وَهُمْ لَهُ نَاسِحُونَ And they are, for, the, for him, they will look after him and they are sincere to him. 
فرد الناہ الہ ان دس وے وی ریٹرن ہم ٹو ہز مدر کہ تقر آئی نہا سو دیٹ ہر آئس شوڈ ریمین کول ولا تحزن اینڈ شی شوڈ ناٹ بی گریوڈ ولا تعلما اینڈ سو دیٹ شی شوڈ کم ٹو نو اینڈ بلیو ان وعد اللہ حق دیٹ دی پرومز آف اللہ از ٹرو ولا کن اکثر ہم لا بٹ موسٹ آف دین نو ناٹ دے ڈونٹ ہیو دی ٹرو نالج